A brand new open world Star Wars game is in development from Ubisoft. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community and help this channel grow. So we can have some awesome conversations in the comments below. But for now, let's jump into this. So for the last while, EA has had a stranglehold on all things Star Wars and releasing games with Star Wars branding. And it looks like it is now coming to an end as Ubisoft is going to be making the next Star Wars game, which is going to be an open world adventure. So this comes from EA Yves Guimau, who is saying that Ubisoft is working on an open world Star Wars game through their development studio, Massive Entertainment, who are the ones responsible for making the division in the division two. And he says it's the start of a long-term collaboration with Disney and that this Star Wars game is going to be unlike any other Star Wars game we have seen before, which has me excited, but also a little bit disappointed because when I saw that Ubisoft was working on this open world Star Wars game, I was just hoping it was going to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 3. Now, obviously it could still end up being that, but if it is a Star Wars game that has never been done before, the likelihood is probably slim that it is going to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 3. But it also has me excited because it is, like he said, a brand new Star Wars game. And I'm always excited when Star Wars games are announced. The most recent Star Wars game that came from EA, Jedi Fallen Order, is actually a really awesome game. So that is actually a really strong note for EA to pretty much ending off with their Star Wars license. And it also, on a side note, has a next generation upgrade now that allows you to play it in 60 frames per second. So if you have Game Pass, which it's included in Game Pass now, you should definitely go ahead and check that out and download it because I highly recommend playing that game. Now this is all part of the new Lucasfilm Games branding subsidiary that was announced. And basically it's going to be a division of Disney, of Star Wars games, of Lucasfilm games that are going to be working with various studios across the industry to create new games. So we already have Indiana Jones, which was announced for Bethesda. Now we have this, which is coming from Ubisoft. And I'm excited to see what other things they have in store and what other studios they are planning to work with. Like I said, they're gonna be able to work with a bunch of different studios. They're gonna be able to probably be more creative in the stuff that they come up with as they are relinquishing a lot of their IP and stuff like this to different studios around the industry. It's gonna go back kind of to what it used to be before EA had the stranglehold on the series. And I think we're gonna to start seeing more games more frequently now because they're going to have the ability to reach out to multiple studios so they can all be developing games at the same time and this kind of reminds me of what it used to be like when they had LucasArts and they were publishing and creating tons of games this is an interesting Twitter account called LucasArts Memory going through all the different games from LucasArts that came back a long time ago when on the retro consoles all the way up until actually 2013 before they went over to EA creating all of the games. What also is interesting is that this doesn't mean EA and Electronic Arts are just done making games. They're gonna to continue to make games. They even put out this tweet here saying, we love Star Wars. We look forward to continuing our partnership with Lucasfilm Games. We're making more Star Wars games. BD1 is still the cutest. And I don't have any problems that Electronic Arts is still going to be making games, especially if Respawn does the majority of them because like I said, Jedi Fallen Order was an awesome game. I I haven't played Star Wars Squadrons yet, but I've heard that it is pretty good. It's a fun shooter. So I'm gonna check that out as well. But besides Jedi Fallen Order, overall Electronic Arts handled the license with Star Wars in not the best way possible. So it's good that more studios are gonna be able to have the chance to create Star Wars games. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you excited for a brand new open world Star Wars game coming from Ubisoft? Are you excited that now there's this Lucasfilm games that is going to allow many different developers to work on Star Wars games? I would love to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you liked what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you joining this community, hitting that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.